After qualifying for regionals for the first time in the team's history, the Liberty men's ultimate team were looking to make another run to the regional tournament this year. But with COVID-19 shutting down the Flames season, they will now have to wait for another chance at making it back to regionals. And sitting down with me now is the head coach of the men's ultimate team, Kevin Habermas. Kevin, thanks for sitting down with us. No problem at all. Kevin, let's talk a little bit about obviously when you first came in, because you came in mid-year last season and you were able to find a lot of success with this team, obviously not only changing up and implementing a new offense for them, but even more so it led them to their first bid at a regional. Yeah, it was, um, it was an interesting situation to come into because you're kind of hopping in the middle of the season. Um, but yeah, they, they um, caught on quickly to new offenses, new defensive schemes, and, and uh, really worked hard. It seemed like, I, mean, I know I was really excited. It seemed like they were excited. And then we you know, got, uh, earned our first bid to regionals, which was obviously really exciting. And obviously that excitement really did translate into the fall because you were retaining a lot of that talent and that group that was that you had in the spring from last year and then bring it into the fall. Talk a little bit about that because not only did you guys have some success, but you also then brought in some solid recruits to add to already a mix of a really talented roster. Yeah, we, we brought in a, we had a ton of people at tryouts last year, last fall, and um, it was really exciting to see the program grow. And uh, we had to turn away a lot of people, unfortunately. And we, we actually uh, made a practice squad um, for a while. And um, it, it was just good to be able to start from ground zero and be able to start from, you know, the basics and start and work up with the team and, and uh, also build a little bit off of the previous season uh, with the guys who returned. Um, I think we returned 15 out of 16 that year, but then we added a bunch of guys too. So um, it was just nice to kind of like get on the same page and move up as a team rather than kind of like thrown in the middle of it. So it was really exciting to um, be able to start fresh, if, if you will, there. And yeah, you were really excited for building the ground up and excited for the spring coming up here, trying to make it a second year in a row going to regionals. But unfortunately, COVID happened, really shutting things down. But you did talk about the growth of the program and how it was able to grow and not even you being able to coach for a full season and even now still being able to get recruits and talking to guys coming in. So talk a little bit about just still being able to find that sustainability and growing the program even through what's happening right now with our country. Yeah, with, with being able to return as many guys as we did, uh, we were able to build on those basics and then start going into advanced, um, I guess, strategies, if you will. And, and so it was really excited coming into the spring of 2020 and, and revving up for what was going to be a, a regionals run. And, and um, you know, it was just, you know, exciting to see these guys, things are starting to click. And so I, I know most of the guys are coming back. I think we're losing three guys this year uh, that graduated. And um, so it'd be nice to have all those guys coming back and be able to move on to advanced stuff. And so then we'll be able to, you know, push even further. So, um, yeah, I mean, everybody experienced the COVID thing. Everybody had to, you know, shut down their seasons early, which is really unfortunate, especially for seniors who have been working hard, you know, for four and five years and um, not really getting it to experience that, that senior year. But... You know, you just got to, you know, take take what you get and kind of move with it. So. And now let's move forward and talk a little bit about hopefully this upcoming fall with everything transitioning and even more so hopefully for the spring with this group, because as of last year, similar to last year, you were able to bring in a lot of kids that are very interested in the program and continue to grow the program. So talk a little bit about, yeah, just hopefully being able to grow into this upcoming season, not only grow the program more, but develop the guys as far as their skills go and make another regional run. Yeah, like we we're saying with developing the guys already there, we had um, 25 guys, you know, being able to build on that and, and you know, you know, help them grow into a better player and better program. We also have um, guys who are emailing us and who have been playing through high school and want to come to the program, which is really exciting because most of the time when we get guys, you know, Ultimate is relatively new sport comparatively to uh, these other sports. And so a lot of times you have to teach someone how to throw a frisbee. You got to teach them how to cut. You got to teach them just normal concepts that uh, someone who's been playing for a few years, you're, they're already a couple steps ahead. So it'd be nice to be able to plug in some of these young, this young talent that we're supposed to be getting here in the the fall. Oh, awesome, Kevin, and thank you again for sitting down with us. And we can't wait to see how things shape up for you guys this upcoming season. Hopefully there will be a season, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. But once again, thanks again for sitting down with us, and yes, yeah, stay safe out there. All right, I appreciate you too.